Hello there, everybody. How's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. I've been missing from the channel here a few months, uh, honestly. Things got cold, snowy. Uh, inventory was quite light. I didn't have much to make new videos on, but it's nice and sunny here in beautiful Pennsylvania. I got the inventory. I got the videos coming for you. Starting off here, I have a 2021 Road Trek Agile SS. I do have a few of these on the lot. I've also got a 4x4, which will give you a little bit more ground clearance and give you the optional 4x4 feature. But this one today here will be on the standard short wheelbase Mercedes chassis sitting at 19 feet 5 inches. This is going to be great for any of you folks looking for a shorter Class B model. Want to go kind of off-grid, do your boondocking or hop around campsites. This unit will give all those options to you. Take around the outside, inside, show you some features, and see this might be the uh, the unit for you. Starting on the outside, in the front here, uh, you do have a few different color options. You, of course, have the famous Road Trek stickers on the top. We are on the Mercedes chassis, so you have that V6 diesel engine, all the safety features I'll be sure to talk to you about here, uh, which, which come on the Mercedes, which make them so popular. As you do come along the passenger side here, you do have a power awning. There's going to be LED lights out here for you. Um, that There's a power door that will come out with a power step underneath there, which I will be happy to show you here shortly. What's great about these road treks, like I said, you can boondock in these things. These are all self-sufficient units. As I'm sitting right here, I actually have the air conditioner on the roof running. Um, that's being powered by the 400 amp hour lithium battery system. It's got 330 watts of solar on the roof. As you come along the back here, you do have sensors in the back. There's a backup camera. I want you to see when you open up these doors, you do have some storage capacity underneath your power rear sofa. That black bag, you'll find your front window shades, 30 amp power cord, and you've got your inverter back here. You do have a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter that has the capabilities of running everything on this unit. You can run the air conditioner, the microwave, your outlets, your smart TV. Again, very self-sufficient, high power unit. On the back here, you've also got a roll down screen, which is a great feature. Be able to keep these back doors open, let the air in on a nice day like today. Of course, I have a hitch set up for 5,000 pounds of towing. As you come along the driver's side, you'll find your hookups, which are conveniently located. This first square box here is actually gonna be your outside shower. Over here, you've got your Insta hot water heater. 16,000 BTU air conditioner. A couple opening flaps down below here. The first one you'll find is for your 30 amp power cord to be plugged into. And then next to that, you'll find your hookups for your uh, your city water connection, your propane tank. Got a 70 pound propane tank on board. And this also has a built in macerator, a 12 volt macerator, which is great. Pump out your waste, grind it up, but it's also got a uh, gravity fed feature in case uh, all else fails. So mass radar on board is, is nice to have. Keep coming along here. Get you into the interior so that you can see the floor plan. Again, 330 watts of solar, lithium batteries. Underneath the hood, they have what's called an underhood generator. It is actually a 280 amp alternator, which will also charge up your batteries if you turn the engine on. Let's say you're sitting down, getting low on battery, turn your engine on in about 40 minutes. Those batteries are gonna be fully charged up and then you can turn off your uh, your engine. So I am gonna turn the air conditioner off in here. Go to my nifty little screen here. Turn it off so that you can hear me real nice. Let's get some lights going on here for, me, for the touch screen on the Firefly display. Cherry cabinetry in here. You do have a couple different options for interior colors. But you'll see it is a rear power sofa. Your galley area is actually on the driver's side. A little different than most, but this is really nice because you get all the windows on this side. You get all the nice natural light that comes in here. On the opposite side of that, you find your bathroom and some storage space. So I'll start as you walk in. You do have a screen door that drops down for the side door here. The Firefly touchscreen is fantastic because you can see everything right from here, whether it be your lighting controls, your tank levels, turning on your batteries, extending your sofa and your awning. You've got a master lighting page, your climate control page, and then of course, a settings page. Battery disconnect switches here, and you can also turn that power step on and off. As you keep coming down from here, like I said, your bathroom is located here. 
You'll open up the doors, you got the marine style bathroom, your toilet with foot flush, your shower, again, macerator on board. You've got a big uh, fresh water tank on here, 30 gallons, so you'll be able to take plenty of water with you, give you a little more camp time. Nice hanging closet in here as you open this door. Plenty of storage space here for you. Nice comfy seating back here. You've got three seat belts in the back so you can seat five total for traveling if you like. Now this bed does fold down flat. It is a power sofa. So you push a button, it's gonna lay down and then you can either have it in two twin beds or fill in the middle here and it actually makes a king size bed. I'll be sure to throw up a picture for you so that you can see what that layout looks like when it's all configured. And you'll see the floor mount here for a table if you want to sit up in the back here, um, hang out with some friends, a family, set the table up, you'll be able to eat back here, drink, do whichever. Or if you're sitting back here, you've got your 24 inch smart TV. You've got the power sofa switch right here. So you don't have to walk up to the front every time. You've got some outlets on the side, up above. Plenty of outlets for plugging things in, but nice and comfortable sitting back here. You'll find your hot water heater controls here, and then again, more outlets. What's nice about your shade is you do have some night shades, but also a screen for keeping the bugs out if you want to pop any of your windows open. Your galley area, you've got nice countertops, the optional induction cooktop here. I do want you to see overhead cabinetry, very solid cabinetry on these road treks. They do not short you out here on quality positive locks which is nice when you open up these drawers and everything on here it's just a nice constructed finish all interior wise another slide out drawer here decent amount of uh, prep space here on the countertop you do have a 12 volt 3.1 cubic foot fridge down below here so this will run right off your batteries it's very efficient cools down pretty quick and uh, you can be on any type of grade pretty much and um, not have to worry about it not working. Small little convenient pantry here. And as you keep coming, you've got more drawers, more flip over extension space here. If you wanna move these seats, these are swivel seats so you can swivel them around. Maybe have a little seating area up here or just use that as more prep space. And you've got the convection microwave and even more storage right down below that. What I like up here is Red Trek has kept the storage, give you a cabinet to open up. And even underneath, again, all LED lighting on here. Really nice, nice touch, nice modern luxury look. You might be wondering what this is in the middle here. This is actually an optional extra seating or uh, sleeping space in the front. It's a folding mattress that will fold across these two front seats. So if you've got a third person coming along with you, you want to have somewhere for them to sleep. Well, you can set these seats up, fold across that folding mattress, and then have a third sleeper up here, sleep across the width of the front chassis. I do want you to see up here, they uh, have the nice leather wrapped, which they do road trek emblems on their seating. So they do a nice finish on these seats, make it match the interior, which is awesome. Again, we are on the Mercedes chassis. So you've got the nice big touch screen, all the safety features that come on here. You got the leather wrapped steering wheel, power adjusted seats, the heated seats, um, you know, the blind spot monitoring, the active lane keeping assist, the tension assist, brake assist, that diesel engine, better fuel economy, um, longer lasting engine. You cannot go wrong on this chassis. You get the most space in the front here, extremely comfortable. So uh, that's what's a big appeal for these, uh, this Agile series. But again, this is the 2021 Road Trek Agile here at Fretz RV of Southerton, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I will do my best to answer for you. Uh, if you feel like there's something I missed, I'd be happy to help you. But like I said, I have been out of the game for a bit. Um, just waiting for nicer weather here, more inventory to arrive. So I've got plenty more inventory for you. So be sure to subscribe uh, so that you can keep up with that further content. Um, plenty more of uh, class B's at least. Those have been rolling in. Uh, class A's and C's are still a little bit of shortage with those chassis, but um, there's been no shortage of travel trailers. Definitely getting all those in. I got some fifth wheels I want to get opened up for you here. And uh, 
give you all the whole variety. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.